Okay, new spirit box. This is crazy. The amount of music that has come out literally the last like two days. Got a whole new album by uh, Holding Absence. We got a whole new album by Asking Alexandria. Um, this uh, new EP by Spirit Box has been announced. New Silent Planet. New just it's crazy the amount of stuff. So we'll get to all of it. But for now, I'm just going to do this one for today real quick. So the void I do have that uh, I did a video for void and that is out on the channel if you haven't seen it. Um, but I'm just going to do a quick recap really fast. I think I've heard a little bit of everything from them. Uh, their first EP is incredible. I've heard a couple songs off of it, but not all of it. I still think Aphids is like one of their best tracks. Heard of Rule of Nines. I don't believe I've heard it. Blessed Be, love that song. And then we got Eternal Blue, their first album. So I haven't heard most of this album. I love Sun Killer, love Yellow Jacket, and Circle With Me. And I, I guess I've heard Consistence, but I don't remember it really but besides for that i don't believe i've heard any other off of eternal blue so let me know if i should do that full album i definitely will i haven't heard shivering uh rotoscope one of their best tracks ever but i haven't heard anything else off of this ep and yeah the void the void has the production is beautiful this is like a really vibey beautiful dreamy song i love this song i've mentioned it in a few of my recent videos the plot in you left behind really reminded me of the void and even uh overflow by polaris it just it, a lot of bands are coming out with songs that kind of have this vibe to it without a whisper by uh invent animate also has that kind of vibe to it i just i love this stuff um also love the super heavy shit a lot that's why i love rotoscope all right so yeah jaded um it's a part of the fear of fear ep it's coming out november 3rd i believe that's the same day that silent planets album comes out so let me like the void real quick i like this artwork a lot it kind of reminds me of something like uh, my bloody valentine would do like a shoegaze band but anyway n enough about the artwork um actually not enough about the artwork look at these vinyls dude oh my god and I see it's a bit longer than The Void, so hopefully you get some, uh, some, I don't know, extended bridge or something like that, some experimentalism. All right, we got the music video up here. I'm, I'm excited for this. I really, I really hope it's heavy um, because The Void is such a beautiful song and the production is so good. I would just love for them to blend in some crazy riffs, some screaming from, uh, from Courtney with that sound that they have with The Void. Like, I, th I feel like that could make something fucking perfect. Let's do it. Hopefully it's loud enough. Sounds cool already. Yep. That's awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. Got that bass coming through. Oh. That sounds cool in the background. Yes. Architects vibe for real. This is one of their best songs ever. It's gotta be, right?
Oh my fucking god, dude. Wow. Dude, the ambience is insane. That was so heavy, though. Honestly, already, without even hearing this full song yet, I think The Void plus this song are probably better than any of the songs that I've heard off of Eternal Blue. Um, not all of Eternal Blue, because I haven't heard all of it, but from what I've heard so far, I think this is definitely just in the exact right direction that they need to be going. Judging by comments that I've seen online, people were a little bit worried about The Void. It was kind of a mix... Uh, kind of a mixed um, response from it. And hearing this, I do feel like The Void was a very big um, decision to come out as the first single, because it was so different. And Courtney has one of the best screams, one of my favorite screams. So I love that we're getting a little bit more of that in this song. She has one of the best screams and one of the best voices, so it's not very fair. And I love when both are featured in a song, but the screaming is just on a next level. <laughs> That's so architects. Holy shit. What's happening? All right. Cool outro, I hope that's on the studio version. That extended chorus was wild. Her vocals, that might have been one of the best vocal performances from her. That was a really cool music video too, I loved that. I usually don't check out music videos. Um, well, I usually do, but I haven't in like a couple months. I've been sticking to just Spotify for the better audio quality, but uh, yeah, that was really good. Definitely gonna give that a like um, and add it to my main playlist. That was such a good song yeah they go together so well jaded and the void perfectly oh yeah perennial i've heard uh i've heard perennial as well but yeah that was absolutely the opposite of a disappointment that was exactly what i wanted going into it and yeah that's that's really all i can say please let me know what you thought down below uh i know a lot of people kind of had a mixed signal i mean not a mixed signal like a mixed response to the void um, I feel like that might have been mostly because it was the first single they released for this EP. Um, I feel like that if they came out with this first, it would have just been a completely different um, reaction to it. But I love that they put The Void out first. I love that they are just like, this is what we're making uh, because it's amazing music at the end of the day man so hopefully this will please people who were kind of like eh the void's okay but i like really heavy music so uh i mean this isn't like super heavy like their old stuff but it's definitely got a lot of screaming from her in it and really good melodies really good mix and yeah i just i can't wait for this ep can't wait for silent planet bunch of other stuff that's coming out so yeah i'm excited for that let me know what you thought again down in the uh, the comment section and suggest things whatever you want that's that's all so peace take it easy